Good morning, everyone. I made a mistake. So last night it rained just ever so slightly, like under a quarter of an inch. But you see that planter over there? Do you remember the last video when I was planting and I was debating, do I put another bag in, do I not? And I had two bags on the back of the planter. Well, I left one of those bags on the back of the planter. And this bag, oh, oh look how big that one is. It really. is squishy. Yeah, the right. beans, oh, look, it's sprouting. The beans <laughs> are sprout. It rained last night, just a couple hours ago, and the beans are sprouting in the bag. <laughs> Which means that my dilemma in the last video was for nothing because we can't even return this bag anyways. Sad. Let's see if it falls apart when we lift it out of the pickup. Oh, we'll see if that dries out any. Even with a full microphone and dead cat setup, the audio in this clip is so horrible because it is just so windy. You absolutely cannot understand a word I'm saying, so I'm just going to have to voice over. Here I am digging up some little baby corn seeds that at the time of this video when it was filmed were planted about a week ago. And I'm just looking at them sprouting. You can see the roots starting to grow and then the corn actually cracking open and you can see the little sprout on top. And I'm just looking at how uniform and even they are when they sprouted. At the filming of this video, at the time of, we had just gotten a little moisture the night before and it wasn't a lot, but um, we were having a lot of warm weather. So it was not terrible growing conditions, just the wind, not good for filming. But things are looking good for our little baby corn plants and they're going to hopefully grow up big and strong. And then I went back and planted them back in the ground so they, they can continue growing. So now that our crop is in the ground, we have to focus on the next step in the process, which would be irrigation. This starts the long season of watering our crops. So I'm just gathering some stuff to make sure we have everything we need to start the pivot. You guys have watched Grant and I do a lot of work to this pivot. So this is the new field that Grant and I are renting this year. We planted it to corn. We tore out an old well motor and replaced it with a newly rebuilt one and uh, we added a different diesel tank out here and uh, we are almost finished getting things hooked up we have a few more things to connect and get ready we need to put a battery out and then we also need to finish installing some sprinklers you guys get so many questions about how pivots work and so i figured it would just be really easy to show you up close before we finish putting all of them on. So these are the sprinklers that go on top of the pivot. You can see an installed one up there. So water comes up from the ground through that pipe up through the pivot. And then this is what actually distributes the water. This is a part from Senator Irrigation and that is how we outfitted this entire pivot with their packages. They do some incredible work. Um, the water shoots up and then it's essentially like a wobbler. And it goes around like this and water shoots out, waters our crops. It looks very simple, but it's actually incredibly engineered. It, the type of sprinkler you have on your pivot depends a lot on what or how it works. So like this pivot used to have drops. So the hang, the drops would hang down and so the water would be close to the ground, but those, they don't throw the water very far. So the water falls right underneath the pivot. And with our hills over here, that causes too much erosion because the, all the water is like right underneath the pivot. This throws it out so it has more time to dry. It's also going to help our pivot not get stuck so frequently, mm -hmm. That's hopefully. The biggest thing. Yeah, so Senator put together a custom package for us. Um, we are really excited to be using these particular sprinklers this irrigation season. All right, so this is our setup here. 
This one is a little bit higher up, this particular sprinkler, because this is the one that's gonna go directly behind the sign and all of those electronic parts that help control where the pivot is at and also when the end gun needs to turn on and off. So these are going to be a little bit higher, so they shoot above all of that. And then each of these sprinklers are going to be spaced apart on this span. And uh, there's actually a particular order that they need to go in. So they've all been numbered here. And they will just screw right in the top. You gonna hop up there and I'll just throw you sprinklers? That's kind of what I'm thinking. So they're all numbered because they have different size nozzles in them. It's like these are red. As it goes down the pivot, the sprinklers on the end need to be need to apply more water than the ones down there because that covers less area and this covers more area. The pivot moves in a circle. So this tower travels at the fastest rate of speed and the tower closest to the center point travels at the slowest rate of speed. I understand why plumbers and electricians and all that have the, you know, the belt with all the pockets. I'm just using my shorts. <laughs> I think that'll work. They're pretty secure. Oh yeah, you'll I you'll be good. Work. All right. Don't drop anything. Hopefully I don't. I'll be here for ground support. Sounds good. Totally safe. Is this a bad time to say I'm afraid of heights? This would be a terrible time. What do you think? I don't know if I was made for this life. Don't know if you could be a lineman, huh? Definitely not. A bucket truck would really help in this point. <laughs> I'm sure it would. It's pretty dry out here. Definitely a need for this pivot to be turned on. Another reason that it's extremely important that we get this sprinkler package installed and the pivot started tonight is that yesterday this field was sprayed with our pre-emergence chemical mixture. That needs to be watered in. To get a jump start on all the beads and it needs to be watered in. I'm not that tall, so Grant has to handle this part. My body span doesn't reach between those two distances. <laughs> This is what the old drops used to look like. They came off the pipe and then they wobbled from the bottom here. So it's essentially like what we just put on, it's just upside down, it hangs down super far. Got good height. I appreciate that. PTO shaft is hooked up. 
our extendo smokestack is on. We pull out the battery cables and look, no clamp. So we're making our own clamp. Ooh. <laughs> I know, I know there's not a cover on this, but we'll put one on. We are more focused with getting this thing started tonight. It would not start because, no offense Grant, but the only wiring he did on this whole thing was wrong. So it should, it should work now. It's been a while. I forgot how uh, wet pivots are. <laughs> 